Well, hey y'all, welcome back to the house on Avery Road. Today is not the video that I thought I was gonna be making. I gotta learn where to look, right there. Um, so I went out there today and I knew I had tons of cherry tomatoes to pick. And I went out there to the vines, y'all. I had, I had a whole stock pot, chock block full of cherry tomatoes. So I said, what am I gonna do with these? So I said, you know something? It's easy and we'll use it. I'm just gonna do tomato juice. So that's what I'm doing. I'm making tomato juice and I'm gonna pressure can it. I know you hadn't got to, I know you can water bath tomatoes and tomato products, but it kind of scares me. So I just, I seen a video the other day and somebody was saying that they just went ahead and pressure can their, their sauce and their juice and everything. So that's what I'm doing today. Just because I want, I just want to make sure because I can use it. We love tomato juice, so let me show you this pot. All right, so this is my pot, y'all. This pot was full of cherry tomatoes, and I also had a couple of tomatoes over there on the counter that I was letting get ripe, and they were ripe. So I just put those in here too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this to a bowl, let all these tomatoes pop, and then I'm gonna let that boil down for probably about 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes get really hot, then I'm gonna strain all the seeds and skins off of these. So whenever I get, whenever I go to do that, I'll bring y'all back and um, show y'all what I'm doing. Like I say, I've got some more tomatoes canned up there and I need to get those out from up there and I need to put them under the guest bedroom bed because it's cooler in there and it's darker in there. So I need to get all my jars that I've canned, and I'll show you all that sometime too. I need to get all these down from there and put them in the bedroom under the bed where it's cooler. Okay, now I've got those boiled. They boiled for about 12 minutes. All the skins and stuff have softened up and fell off of them. Let me show you all what I'm doing now. I've separated the juice. I strained it through a sieve. The, all the juice and the seeds and everything, I strained it, y'all. Look. Okay, that's all the juice that I strained off of it. This is all the pulp and the seeds. Now I'm going to go over here and take this and put this through that Kachina Pro thing and see how that works. All right, that's the Kachina Pro. I'm fixing to take that, run it through this, and it's supposed to separate the skins and the seeds, and then all the goodie is supposed to go in that jug right there. Ooh, I need something to put the trash in. Let me go get another bucket. Okay, so that has cooked down... I've already run it through the thing, and that little Kachina Pro thing, it actually works pretty good. I was a little bit concerned, because I looked at the reviews on it, and the reviews on it on Amazon didn't look that great. But, I learned about that thing from Sarah over at uh, Living Traditions Homestead, so I trust Sarah, and it actually works pretty good. I'm going to have to get me a slicker surface, though, to suck it down on. Because I kept having to hold it down. But anyway, uh, squirrel, see there? So what I'm doing now, I've noticed that there's quite a few seeds in here that I really didn't want. So I'm going to strain this through a finer sieve, bring it back up to a bowl, and then we're going to start canning it. So this is it right here. I'm going to strain it through this sieve here into this pot. Then I'm going to uh, skim off some of that uh, gunk. See that? that stuff there and we'll skim that off so my juice will be more pure okay so I've got my canner and I've got my jars they're clean jars and I just put them in there and bring those to a bowl to let those get real hot I've also got my juice here looking lovely I tell ya awesome and I've got my bands my lids and this is a uh, paper towel that I have moistened with vinegar so that I can wipe the rims. And also what I've done, I took a while ago, before I went out and got my canner, and I poured a little of that juice just right here to taste it before I can it. Oh my gosh. Like typical tomato juice, just like tomato juice, but this, I guess it's because it has all those different varieties of cherry tomatoes, like the little yellow ones. The little yellow ones are called, oh gosh, y'all, I'm forgetting what the little yellow ones are called. Barry's Cra Brad's Crazy Cherry. 
And then I had some Brad's blueberries, uh, dancing with Smurfs, all kind of cherry tomatoes. And I guess that's what gives it a really unique flavor. That will be good for juice. Like in the morning, if you just to drink a glass of tomato juice, that'd be wonderful like that. Or it would make a fantastic Bloody Mary as well. So yeah, let's get to canning. What I'm going to do, because I'm the only one here and I'm having to use one hand, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these hot jars, put my juice over in it, wipe the lid, the rims, put my lids and my bands on and put them back in the pressure canner. And when I do that, I'm just going to pressure count them 15 pounds of pressure for 15 minutes. All right, so this don't hurt my feelings. I have got four pints of tomato juice. And we'll pop these over in the canner. And then we're going to process them. Yeah, this don't hurt my feelings a bit. And my tomatoes is still doing amazing things out there. So... I'm more than likely, I'm going to repeat this process too, because this is fantastic juice. I would have no problems getting up in the morning and having this juice. All right, let me put the lid on this and let it steam for 10 minutes and get the processing. Okay, y'all, I'm going to show y'all something that I have realized about my canner. And if your canner has a dial, you may want to check your counter as well. Now, I just turned this down, but see if you can see here. That counter is reading over 15 pounds of pressure. Now, that weight there is a 15-pound weight. The gauge is off, right? So, but I want to go by that weight because that weight is, it's, it's like all kind of physics and stuff and like math. The 15 pound weight will tell you when you're at 15 pounds of pressure. Now I'm at 15 pounds of pressure because I am above a thousand feet sea level. So that's why I have to go to 15 pounds of pressure. But that weight will tell you when 15 pounds is. You can't always trust your dial, but you can always trust your weight. Don't smell want to know that. All right, well, it is all done. They've cooled so I can touch them. I know you're not supposed to pick them up. I know this. But I've got four pints of awesome juice. Let there be light. Four pints of awesome juice. Now, when you do juice like this, if there's any pulp in it, it's very normal for the liquid to separate from the pulp. All you got to do is when you go to use it, you shake it up. But that's that. I am about to cut into this Kajari melon. I'm going to have me a little melon snack. So anyway, until the next video, I will um, bless y'all for watching. Thank y'all for subscribing and everything. And I will talk to y'all on the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.